McLaren Honda have made enormous progress. Two cars in the top 10 in the Malaysian Grand Prix. Yeah. Hot weather. Again, if you look back 12 months to where Honda were and where the team were in general, very impressive uh, performances. Fernando Alonso, particularly in, in yeah. Malaysia, was, was brilliant. So the team is getting better and better. No surprise there. We've mm -hmm. both been saying that for the last couple of years. They might yep. even get a podium for the end of the race, for the end of the season. There you go. I know it's pushing it, but a bit of luck. Rainstorm in Brazil or something. Who knows? Fernando <laughs> or even Jensen could do it. Tell us about McLaren. Non-stop development on that car and on the engine. Um, yeah, I mean, McLaren have almost kept me employed for the whole year, just drawing the updates <laughs> to, their, to their car because at every race there is something... Not always very significant, but always a very big visual change to the car, which means there's probably at least another dozen non-visual changes around the car. We'll talk about the chassis side of things. And they've been focusing very much around the front wing, the front brake ducts uh, in the second part of the season. Um, we go back to Singapore and they were putting extra slots in where there weren't slots before onto the front wing. Again, when we come through to um, Malaysia, they had the Toro Rosso louvers on the uh, rear wing end plate. Little details throughout the car, mm. constantly updating it, and that's going to carry, according to McLaren, all the way through to the end of the season. Well, I remember you saying in at the Barcelona test when you saw the Toro Rosso mm. that that is a great thing, those open louvers, and, and yes. several teams will be adopting that pretty quickly. Well, Mercedes, take it. Mercedes run it consistently, Mercedes new rear wing, and uh, but here's no, an example of where Ferrari aren't doing that. It's in, you know. Just, Again, you know, yeah. there, there are teams you would expect. You Red Bull typically don't copy other people's ideas quite so quickly, and I don't know if that's an Adrian Newey thing or maybe something he's just uh, well, engendered. Well, particularly Toro Rosso, well, yeah, <laughs> engendered into the team. But yeah, but you know, it's it's a, something that's going to be copied very much. Um, and you know, McLaren really have pushed really hard this year, and I think that's now starting to show. You can see that there is pace in the car. Now the car is a little bit held up by the engine. And we'll talk a bit about that as well. But you know, on a single lap, you know, when they can turn the engine up and throughout the race, you've seen that the performance, and I think the real test will be at Suzuka uh, this weekend to see how well the McLaren does on a purely chassis circuit with power is maybe not quite as uh, influential. But again, you know, then the race results, these drivers are getting fantastic race results in. They're looking after the tyres. Um, you know, there wasn't really much in the way of extended safety car periods as much as there were two virtual no. safety cars mm. in Malaysia. So, you know, the fuel economy isn't going um, to be such a big issue for them now. And you know, Honda are fighting back. They are. And we shouldn't forget, there'll probably be, I don't know, 5,000 Honda employees at the <laughs> Japanese Grand Prix as well. So they better do okay. Yeah. Uh, the open louvers on the rear wing end plate, mm -hmm. is that an easy thing to do? Or is it a very, very intricate thing to get the structure exact? Is the structure an element there it's, as well? It's or? nice because it's one of those areas that's quite isolated because it's towards the rear of the car. Um, and it's not like a big silver bullet for going in lots more um, speed through reducing the drag at the rear wing. All the teams are already playing with their louvers already. As I understand, what happens is as the air passes inside the wing and wants to go out through these louvers and reach the wingtip, which would stops these entrails, these vortices mm. forming, which you obviously see on the damp day, which are creating drag slow in the car on the straight line. Just having that open front means that as the air is trying to pass back out through these, it doesn't have to kind of go through that little blockage and it just keeps all the airflow much cleaner, you're not getting that separation in the, on those bits of bodywork. Uh, so other teams could introduce it if they wanted to, uh, you know, those parts are completely detachable from the main wing when you're bonding the up mat bonding a rear wing end plate is one of the simpler parts of the car aerodynamically to, to physically change. So there is op options for it. And uh, probably most teams, are because they're focusing that much on 2017, have probably parked that idea and are thinking, OK, that will come back to that for next year. And probably equally now they've seen this front wing from Mercedes thinking, OK, slot there. We'll park that idea and put that into the package for Melbourne next year. So I think a lot of these ideas are probably merely being stored away and they're already on the CAD screens and the CFD screens ready for their 2017 cars.